Welcome back everyone. As many of you know, the Lakers selected Max Christie with the 35th overall draft pick back in 2022, which they actually made a trade for, really telling you about their belief in him long term. Now, he unfortunately has yet to become a permanent member of the rotation, but I think a lot of that came down to Darvin Ham, not Christie. And while he will be a restricted free agent this summer, it's pretty much guaranteed they'll bring him back. Again, they have a lot of belief in him long term, and even with his sporadic playing time, he has shown a lot of promise as a 3 and D player aka the most valuable kind of role player in the modern NBA, and I imagine that plenty of teams like to have him. And with that in mind, how would you feel if I told you there is basically a clone of him in the 2024 NBA draft, and not only that, but a guy that he is literally related to, with that being his younger brother, Cam Christie. And no, I'm not joking about that either. Much like Max, Cam played one year of college before entering the NBA draft, and eerily enough, he is currently being projected to be taken within one spot where his older brother was taken, with Cam currently projected as the 35th overall pick according to ESPN, one spot in front of where the Lakers took his older brother. And like I mentioned before, they traded for that draft pick, meaning they could potentially do the same thing again if they wanted to. Now, many believe they'll do that for Bronny James, but there is no guarantee they'll happen. And if the Lakers scouting department love Max Christie, then I imagine they are pretty high on Cam Christie as well, who again, has a very similar game to his older brother. And with that being said, we are going to review his game and then talk about if he would be worth making a trade for, or maybe even taking in one of their other current draft picks, which are currently 17th and 55th overall. But before we get too far into it, if you want to stay up to date with everything Lakers throughout the offseason, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell to never miss out when I upload a video. But without further ado, let's dive right into it. And we'll begin by going through an overview of Cam Christie. Much like his older brother, they were both measured at the same exact height and weight during college, being 6'6 six six and weighing 190 pounds. Pretty eerie. And not only that, but they both played for a college in the Big Ten. Though unlike Max who played for Michigan State, Cam played for the Minnesota Golden Gophers, and he actually had a more productive freshman year compared to Max, putting up over 11 points, about 4 rebounds, 2 assists, and then shooting over 39% from beyond the arc. Now, you would think that would give him a bit more draft stock, but again, Cam is currently being projected to be taken right around where his older brother got taken, in the very beginning of the second round. And I think it really comes down to him entering the draft at only 18 years old, yet another similarity to his older brother. And the primary thing being held against him right now is that he is likely a year or two away from being able to handle the physicality of the NBA. Now, I think that tends to be a bit overblown for the modern NBA, but I would agree that he does need to put on a bit more weight. And while with him obviously having very similar genetics to his older brother, I don't think that will be a problem. And Cam is fully aware of teams having that notion about him, which he talked about during a pre-draft workout with Portland. A lot of times guys come into workouts and, and like you almost have to like answer a question that maybe a team or people have about you. Is, it, is there any question you feel like people may have about you and how you go about answering that on the court? Uh, I think, you know, it's kind of like I said earlier, it's the physicality part physicality, of it. Yeah. Uh, I think, um, you know, teams know I can shoot, um, teams know I have high IQ. It's just, uh, since I am, you know, a lot younger than everybody else going through this process, it's kind of showing that I'm able to, um, that I put on added strength, that I've kind of gained confidence in my body and my ability to, um, you know, bump and bang around with these other guys. Again, both Cam and Max entered their freshman year of college weighing about 190, but now two years after being drafted, Max weighs well over 205, and likely around 210 to 215 by now, which I think would be a likely pathway for Cam as well. But apart from all the basic stuff, I do think there are some differences in his game compared to his older brother, with the main one being how they prefer to score the ball. If you watch him throughout college, or even during summer league, Max Christie tends to build off his work from the mid-range. Now, he definitely has become a pretty good 3-point shooter, but he really does like that in-between game, though his younger brother is more of a true 3-and-D player, with him having more of a preference for the 3-point line, and he definitely showed that throughout college. Don't get me wrong, Cam is a pretty good mid-range shot too, but like I mentioned before, he shot over 39% from beyond the arc, and not only on 1 or 2 attempts per game, he took over 5 of them per game, although knocking down over 2 of them per contest, an elite mark for a true freshman. I mean, that was where over half his shot attempts came from after all, and he was able to knock them down in a variety of ways. He played the common catch and shoot role at times, but also did plenty of off the dribble shooting, and even a little bit of movement shooting too, all of which have a big place in the modern NBA. And I think that is one major advantage he has over his older brother coming out of college. Even now, Max can tend to be a little bit hesitant from the three-point line, 
Again, he definitely has gotten better, but he's never been a borderline 3 point sharpshooter like his younger brother. And for a non lottery pick rookie entering the NBA, that can oftentimes be the only opportunity they get on offense. For a second round draft pick, the only shots they will often get will be a catch and shoot 3, especially early on before they prove anything. And if they hope to get more playing time, then they need to be able to knock down that shot at an efficient rate. And while we are very worried about Max being able to do that, with him only shooting about 31% from 3 during his lone year of college, that is not the case for Cam. If anything, 3 point shooting might be his biggest strength, and especially if we're talking about offense. I think he will need some time to get better at finishing around the rim, along with being able to create for himself in general, but I am very confident about his 3 point shooting ability. He can definitely play that catch and shoot role, and there might even be a little bit of a movement shooter in there as well, which would really be a treat. Even from watching his highlights, you can tell that he does a really good job moving off the ball, being able to relocate along the 3 point line to get open, and then being able to both take and make a 3 point shot from anywhere on the court. And if you would ask him about what his game is all about, the first thing that he will likely mention would be 3 point shooting, which he literally did during that pre-draft interview that I showed you before. And here's another quick clip. How would you describe your game if you were going to explain to someone the way that you play and, and how you operate on the court? Uh, I would say definitely a sharpshooter. Just, um, I mean, I can play really uh, any guard position, you know, the one through the three or anything like that. Um, just, you know, good feel for the game, high IQ. Um, kind of willing to do whatever role, you know, off ball, um, spacer, that kind of thing, or if it's on ball, kind of coming up, pick and roll, you know, whatever that may be. In my opinion, whatever team drafts him will be getting a really well-rounded offensive talent. The three-point shooting, along with off-ball movement in general, is great, even potentially elite, though let's not completely overlook his skill with the ball. Even apart from his three-point shooting ability, he had nearly a two assists to turnover ratio, a pretty damn good mark for a primarily off-the-ball shooting guard. And then, while he did not finish around the rim that well, there is definitely potential here too. He is a really good athlete, and combine that with the threat of his 3 point shooting ability, and he will have plenty of wide open lanes to the rim after putting up a pump fake. Though I think the final thing worth mentioning for him on offense is simply how similar he is to his older brother. I mean, you can literally tell they grew up together from their shooting motion alone, with Cam likely copying him when it came to shooting the ball. I mean, come on now, you cannot tell me they don't have a nearly identical shooting motion, and it's pretty cool, I can't lie. Moving on here though, I think we need to talk about the other part of being a 3 and D player, which of course happens to be playing defense. And much like his older brother, there is a lot of potential here with Cam on defense. He might not even be done growing yet, but he currently has the near identical frame to Max. And well, that should allow him to be a good point of attack defender, along with being able to match up with smaller wing players right out the gate. And then there is no question about his ability to keep up with them. He might not have had a great vertical leap measurement during the combine, but he is sneaky athletic on the court, a really good on-ball defender, and then can make plays at the rim as well, likely being a pretty good rebounder in the NBA as well. But again, the only minor problem here is that he is currently a bit light, and until he puts on a little more muscle, he will be fairly limited on the defensive end of the court in the NBA, which will likely lead to him spending a majority of his time in the G League during his rookie year. But with all of that being said, what do you guys think? How do you feel about Cam Christie? And do you think the Lakers should think about drafting him, or maybe even making a separate trade for him like how they do with his older brother? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to those of you who took the time to watch until the end of this video, and until the end of all of my videos in general. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and hit that notification bell to never miss out when I upload a video. But as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.